Hey, this is Doug, a.k.a. Commander Bacon with His Way Homestead, and we've got an exciting day today. <laughs> Stay tuned. So today we're at uh, Ants' place, and he's going to show us his uh, Tamuk rabbits, the Texas A&M rabbits. Uh, this is the New Zealand uh, variety, and uh, we're going to pick up some, some new breeding stock. So... Ant, you want to say anything about your rabbits? Y'all come on in. We got the we got the Tamuk New Zealand and help yourself and look around. All right. I really I really like your setup. I like the uh, hanging cages, and I like uh, they got the nest boxes down in the floor of the cages, which is pretty cool. So come on in, take a look. Uh, these are all white ours. The, the Texas A&M rabbits that we have, they're the composite rabbits and they throw all kinds of colors. So these are, these look like New Zealand rabbits, mm -hmm. except they're different. I want to get over they're, here to the nest box and show. I really like the inset. Yeah. It just makes a lot of sense. It does. So how many, how many cages you got here? There'll be 48 does in here and six bucks. Six bucks. So the bucks are all wow. along this end? You got or? four bucks right there and we keep two on the back side. So these these are huge rabbits. Yeah, these this are, is and this they're friendly is, too, aren't you? Yeah, they're the difference in the New Zealand and the New Zealand to muck, the new and brood, is they vent through their ears. Yeah. The guy at Texas A and M, we went and met with him and they have a facility that has no fan, no electricity, and it, their ears is what keeps them cool. Right. And he said they produce and live an environment during the summer of a hundred, up to 112 heat index. Yeah. And we, like I said, we seen the facility personally, and there was no fan. They was, they was yeah. on their own. So the ears act like giant radiators. There's a lot of blood vessels in there and it helps dissipate the heat from their blood, which helps keep them cool. And their, and their coats are a little, their fur's a little shorter mm -hmm. and it's a little thinner. But man, these guys are friendly. They got great temperaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... And this is the main man of the, of the barn. Right how, old, here. how old is this one? He is 14 months. Wow. Yeah. And a buddy of mine come up from Sarah Land, Alabama, which is, his name is Lewis. He come up, we checked every one of the books under a microscope, and all of them is really good. And if, if you're gonna be in this, that's one thing that, that we did do. We, we bought a microscope, and we got an AV, which is artificial. You put a dough in there and put it under, and he does his business in a cup, and then you would check okay. it under a microscope to see what's going on. Wow. Okay because his, he had a buddy that had, had has a big rabbit tree and four or five of his bucks he had to cull because what produced it. Uh, was okay. hmm. Well, see, we're, we're struggling somewhat. I, I think we, we feed them too much. And they get too fat and they're not, they don't, well, they, yeah. they can stop producing as much. So we, we tried to make sure we limited their feed um, yeah. and we're trying to do that. But we're at the point where the ones that we have, they're getting older, and we just need to start over. And I think one of our problems is I wanted to give them a break over the summer when it got hot. Yeah. And I think that was a huge mistake because just give them a break from breeding. Yeah. And, and you can't do that. Then they went and we can't get them to breed now. It's just, yeah. I think well, they sat around well, and got great. fat and lazy, and now. Well, yeah. every one of these in here has got babies. And. They're on a two-week breed cycle. When the babies are two weeks, we put them back in. I and there was 34 of them, and only one didn't live. Wow. She didn't live that time. Yeah. yeah. We put her back in there the next evening, or that evening, and she did just, Wow. So, so when, when you breed, do you try to get three fall-offs when you put them in there? With these, with these bucks right here, we get four fall-offs in three minutes. Wow. Uh, wow. We, we breed. Each one of the cages are tagged of what buck they bred to okay. historically. Mm -hmm. And we breed back to that same buck. Okay. Because 
the preacher, there's a preacher down in Angie, Louisiana, has been a, a, a big mentor for me. And he said familiarity is everything in rap business. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if that dough is used to that book, yeah. and you're getting litters of 10 and 11, and they're raising them, yeah. Yeah. Not, not small litters plus they're raising them. I mean, right. that is the proof. Why would you change? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to mess that up. So we go back to the same book, and yeah. like I said, we'll breed six in this farm in five minutes. Wow. It's as quick as you can put them in there. Wow. You know, that's what we want. And get, I, we, we have uh, some wooden cages right now. Really like to just go with all the metal hanging cages. Yeah. I like these. These are pretty cool. Bob Jones down in Peak Union, he, he's, he's a friend of mine. He builds he builds his cage. We like slant front, uh, slant front. Yeah. And my wife's not very tall, so we it just worked out perfect. We yeah. Put them you got metal dividers so they can't see each other. That's on can't the books. Yeah. Pee on each other mm -hmm. and everything else. We did put them on the book. I oh. see the girls over here. There's and if there was a dog, little babies. If you was in the cow business, mm -hmm. and you you know you see a lot of people talk about dollar cows, this rabbit would be your dollar. Mm -hmm. She's just phenomenal. Big. Look what a litter she throws. And these, they, all these babies will be weaned next week. They'll be four weeks old. Mm. They're eating good. They... You got a lot of rabbits. <laughs> there's a lot of babies all over the place. Yeah, awesome. 200, 214 babies, I believe. That's amazing. Well, what are these cages for? They don't have best boxes in the bottom. Is this for bucks? No, that's does. I got some Texas a and does we're gonna move in here. Oh, okay. But I, when we went down there, I put them in another barn. I wanted to make sure there was no sickness or yeah, right. Coming from Texas. Yeah, they've been down there now for thirty days. Okay. And then I'm going. We got a cage here. They'll go in, and we'll finish out this barn completely. Now this looks like a California mix here. Yeah. That's a California book. My yeah. buddy of mine down in Sarahland, Alabama brought him up here. Mr. Claude Overstreet. He's got them, them Californians come out of Texas. Mm -hmm. And I want to try something. I want to try the Californian mm -hmm. on a Tamuk dough. Mm -hmm. ah. And see. These two books are down here. This is book four and that's book five. They're perfect. They throw smaller babies, mm -hmm. and we breed all of the uh, first time does. Uh, we breed the okay. I got you. We breed the So that it's not any trouble giving birth the first time. We've had no That's trouble. That's really smart. We've had no yeah. trouble. So, so you got little ones here. Oh, yeah. Mama. Sorry. Yeah, there's a nest for them in there. She'll bite the fire out of it. You better go on. <laughs> <laughs> but there's always do. one. <laughs> They do great. They do. I mean, they're doing great. They're, they grow. And that's what's so, that I've seen is so phenomenal about the Texas A&M. That joker, when you get that joker and you get him up to about eight weeks, mm -hmm. he's bumping five pounds per year. Wow. Some of the does that I put up for, for replacement does, at seven weeks, they was 461. 442, 446, mm -hmm. and if they're that big, and you'll see the bats on when we get down there, yeah, they got to go back in the herd. Huh. And the ones that's a little slower, they go to yeah, Sweet Caroline. Yeah, <laughs> go to freezer camp. <laughs> they do. So they, this, this one, you can really see her ears are big. Mm -hmm. and a lot of these up this way. Yeah. Uh, that one buck on the end, his ears weren't that much bigger. But this, they're, this doe is they're really big ears. Thicker. The thickness uh, of it, too. Which we have, we do have a couple New Zealanders. And, and I'll show you when we get down there. The New, Ze the New Zealand and the Kamuk Cross mm -hmm. is working unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have not implemented any of the half bloods into for mamas, but I'm going to. But because on a test, they're actually outgrowing the purebred mamas. Wow. They are. That's amazing. So this next go around, I can show you some, some crosses over here that's, that's New Zealand. 
and I'll show you their babies. And, and they, this was the first time, a little girl here, she's in New Zealand. This was her first time. So she didn't pull fur much, huh? She pulled some, but she didn't pull a lot. But it's, yeah. this barn stays on the coldest night in 50 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. All we have is just a regular little 100 light bulb. Yeah. Just enough. Yeah. It'll they'll be fine. It's 60 in here now. And, and I got ventilation, cross ventilation. Yeah. Yeah, we but, got but Let's take a look at this water bucket because this is exactly what we did with our rabbits. So you've got a toilet fill valve in there, don't you? Yeah. So that, that comes off the pressure pressurized hose and it goes up into the bucket, fills up to a certain level, and then it and just grabs it right, right from there. Right straight across every one of those. Which I can, when we get to the, I call it death row. <laughs> when we get the death row down there, you'll, you'll see we got a, a bigger bigger bucket because they can we can house 400 kill rabbits in there yeah we've got it set up for her and we've got a we just put cool cell pad in there so when it gets hot down here in august and we got 400 rabbits in there are you familiar with cool cell pads? no no so it's just I'll, that too. I'll show you when we get down there and it's like in a chicken house it drains water through them and then a fan pulls oh. up yeah. Air through that water. Oh, okay. And it don't pull it. And all it pulls is enough is to cool the air, not to put yeah. any moisture in your feet. Or, right. Or so it's an evaporative type air conditioner. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Cool. All right. Y'all ready to head? Yeah, right let's uh, stay tuned. We're going to go see uh, Death Row. <laughs> so okay. this is the evaporative cooler that he's going to talk about, the air conditioner. So go ahead and explain it how it works. Well, it goes into a key here with a floating. Okay. And then it just. It's set on the thermostat, just say if it gets wherever you want to set it, 85 degrees, it'll kick on the water, and the water comes out through the holes right here. And it sprays in here, and it runs down these evaporators, which are cool cell pass, into this tank right back into here. So you're you are just the circulating. Same circulating. Wow. So it's got like a sump pump that, that kicks on based on the thermostat. It's got a pump that comes in, there's the, the plug. And it keeps that full, just full enough to to, back, to do this. And on the other end, I'll show you when we get inside, the fan comes on on the thermostat with this. Mm. And it just pulls. They use this in chicken houses everywhere. Yeah. Um, and if it'll work in chicken houses, it'll work right oh, yeah. here. Yeah, absolutely. So this has a float valve in here, too. Yeah. That, that's what uh, kicks your water supply into it. It's got a float valve. It's like you're gonna, Yeah, you're going to lose some. So you got a, a sump pump that kicks it up, pumps it over, uh, sump pump kind of thing, and, but the uh, float valve that fills it, keeps it at the same level. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You can clean it out through this valve, that valve, that flush it, yeah. Now, because I have the camera and they're talking about stuff that <laughs> it's really not that interesting. Look at the little goats everywhere. Oh my God. That oh. should be the next thing at my house. Well, I tell you what, you see, we're Texas a and got okay. all these. We've had them here for 30 days, had no help problems whatsoever. So this so, is your quarantine, too. This is, well, these are going to death anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. And since they're separated, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's not going to matter. But uh, they, they got, got some big ears. Oh, <laughs> they got big ears. Some of them's big, you can't even hold them up. This yeah, you got them. Yeah. You just flop them over sometimes. Yeah. And this is the inside of the cool cell. During the winter time, it's got a curtain, you just roll it all the way up. There's no wind can get in here on them. Yeah. Uh, and then like during the summertime, you just drop it down and it'll keep it cool. Well, it should be, be a whole lot easier to have a building with a concrete floor with the drain that you can <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it'd be it so would, much easier. would be a lot uh, easier than what we're doing. We wash out twice a day and put down the dishwasher on the floor. Once a day, I just leave it. It just keeps the ammonia smell out of it. Oh, yeah. It helps clean the floor. You have a way to collect the droppings? Go right out the drain. Somebody want red worms, we can go out there in that drain. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not really doing that part of it. We do not do that part. Man, it goes straight yeah. in my garden. Yeah, we bring the light. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's, gold. it's gold for my garden. We got trucks, bagels, this, that. You don't need much else, huh? Yeah, ain't, <laughs> ain't got time to be scooping no food. <laughs> <laughs> These are the books that we got from 
Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. These are their older two little bucks. I'm keeping it over here. <laughs> <laughs> so that, and that's, that's your big water bucket. That's the big one. Oh, yeah. So what okay. that, like 10 gallons? That's 10 gallons. Yeah, it comes down. It's a little bit different from what we got the other one. But there's a, there's a lot more in here too. Yeah. Well, the smaller one, it would just kick on and off a lot more. And, and there's something to be said for that because then it's fresher water, right? Mm -hmm. so, but yeah. So oh, when, you, set up. when you get 400 in here. It's going <laughs> quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. you get 400 babies at five pounds in here. They're drinking a lot of water. Yeah. Also, oh, there's a, um, a plug for the cold water in the bottom. Yeah, these here, I Good. bought these. These was actually used, mm -hmm. and they had had them in a breeder house, and, and we just made it for them. They're bigger, they're 36 inch, and all of our uh, grow out pens are 36, 30 by 36. Very cool. I like it. This is the. 15 that we picked out for replacements. They come from the other barn and they can be bred every one of them to muck bucks that come in from Texas A&M and will not be in breeding no way. Yeah. So each barn is kept separate. This yeah. barn is kept separate. We can take uh, grow outs out of this barn and go to this barn. Yeah. And then out of that barn can go to this barn. Right. And you can keep a family going of them. Yeah. And not inbreed in no way. Yeah. There's no way to inbreed. Yeah, and that'll keep them healthier and, yeah. and, and much better. And like I said, these was, we had 50 on that side right there, and we got 200 more coming in here. Wow. But I had a guy come here, well, we had two people come here today and, and wanted some some, some breeding stock. So. Yeah, that's what we're working for. Well, I'm going to let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all dip into this side okay. over here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause this and come back uh, later. We're gonna, we'll, it'll be set up same. We need to get some of these. We do. I like those. Yeah. Those goats are calling me, honey. Yeah, here. <laughs> I don't know. I think they got the name on it. We, we just didn't start having cases in this one. Uh, we'll be through with it. Probably we need Wow. We got a high school we can see. We see the Blair, uh, the wear milling. Yeah, we can't hardly get wear consistently. We like wear. Um, we had a female that, that had it, but every time we needed it, they're like, uh, it's going to be another two, three weeks. Oh, we, we, we forgot to order it. Yeah. And you I know. I don't have time to wait for it. I can't keep mixing up. The you food. can't play with their feed. That messes everything up. But that's, that's what we need. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. You yeah. can see it three, two, five, five. You just got to be careful feeding your doves. We feed a dove that's not bred four ounces. A dove that is bred six ounces. And then she has babies. Turn the loose. Yeah. Yeah. And this barn here is just like the other barn when it gets when it gets 85 degrees, these are these are come on all the time. Everything uh, everything is on thermostat. We're not in here, we're not home. Yeah. Everything is on thermostat. That's great. So it's pretty independent. You don't have to be here to take care of No. As far as the heat and the cool, we don't. Yeah. yeah. So you got is it the rain to the floor on the outside? Like a trough? It's a trough. It's collected. You go right out through the drain there, right out through the top. So it's pumped in the middle, drains off to the side, mm -hmm. into the trough, and out of the building. Out of the building, yeah. So all you have to do is go up the middle aisle and just turn it down. We can go up this aisle and push it to it. Yeah. 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 I like it. I do too. And this here is a metal. It's, it's, they, you can't cheat through that. It's metal. Wow. It's a, it stays white. But it's mess. Hmm. It's easy to clean. What was in here? Because that looks like some kind of water. I have my babies in here. Oh, okay. So there we go. This is where you kick. <laughs> this is where you kick the dogs out, huh? Baby, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rammed out of here. Four puppies. <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking in this one. We'll have we'll have to complete this week. 
So your your commercial meat production basically. Yeah, that's what. Well, you're getting there, huh? That's come up to come up to our come back. Yeah. Right. And we're 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 the going to breed stock. We're going to have a lot of breed stock. We say that we already are selling a lot of breed stock. We sell them as fast. I can't get my barn full. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, but I've got all. Um, we're supposed to pick up 20 more does and uh, six more bucks from Texas a &M. And we're going to put them in here with the other barns for them. Yeah. And we can, like I said, we can take replacements from this barn or that barn and then replace them from that barn or this barn mm -hmm. and never cross them up on the boat. Yeah. So you, you're isolated in each patch in a different group. That's right. And when they go in, <clears throat> in when they go under the death row, as you call it, or we call it, every, ca every cage is tagged. We know what book comes out of mm -hmm. and what doesn't come out of. So how many rats do we have? We're going to have 125 mamas. Uh, there's 266 babies now. They're all rebred. Yeah. So, Bunch. How many males will you end up with? How many, Which, how many males? There's going to be eight in this barn for 72 rabbits, and there's uh, 60, 64 does in there, and we've got six. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And we, like I said, you breed six a day. Right. So in a week, you breed 30 rabbits easy, and that's what we're going to do is breed 30 each week. That's all the way we can keep up with in the, in the other barn. Right. right. They'll be in there the maximum of nine weeks, they're gone. And as soon as they leave, we clean it. So yeah. yeah. That's amazing. So you've got a Facebook page, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's called uh, Texas A&M to Mucks in Mississippi. Yeah. So if you're in the Mississippi area, so this would this be considered a, a suburb of Hattiesburg? Yeah, we're about 12 miles north of Hattiesburg. So it's Seminary, Mississippi. Big city is in there's your chance to, to have a commercial. You want to yeah. <laughs> if, tell, if, tell them how to contact you. Well, you can go on our, 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 our page or my phone number, 601-517-3397. And I can give them Sweet Caroline's information. He is a great guy. He's needing more growers and rabbits for his, for his business. And uh, we've met a lot of good people. Yeah, extremely a, a, a lot of good people. Yeah. And Gerald and his wife is, is they're good people. They're good people to deal with. Well, I appreciate you showing us around. This has been pretty cool, and we look forward to getting the rabbits from you for to start our breeding stock with these uh, New Zealand and Texas A&M rabbits. You're more so, than welcome. Appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget, his way is the best way. <laughs>